In order to understand the menstrual cycle, you need to know what structures are involved and how they interact with each other. This cycle is brought about by a series of interactions between the pituitary gland, the ovaries, and the uterus. In order to remember the four key hormones involved, just think FLEP, F-L-E-P, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, estrogen, and progesterone. We'll start in the pituitary gland at the beginning of the cycle where we find follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. FSH will travel in the blood to the ovaries where it will stimulate the growth and release of an ovarian follicle. As the egg matures, the pituitary gland will begin to secrete another hormone, luteinizing hormone or LH. During the middle of the cycle, there will be a sudden spike in LH which will trigger the release of the egg known as ovulation. Let's continue on and talk about estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen and progesterone play key roles in the development and shedding of the endometrial wall of the uterus. During the first half of the cycle, known as the follicular phase, the follicle secretes increasing amounts of estrogen. Estrogen will promote the regeneration of the endometrial layer, specifically the stratum functionalis. After the follicle ruptures and ovulation occurs, it is changed into another structure known as the corpus luteum. During the last half of the cycle, known as the luteal phase, the corpus luteum will begin to secrete increased amounts of progesterone that will help maintain that layer and prepare it for implantation of the egg. The secretion of progesterone is maintained for several days, but if the egg is not fertilized, the corpus luteum will wither, and falling levels of progesterone and estrogen trigger the shedding of the stratum functionalis as the menstrual flow. The cycle will then start all over with FSH. If fertilization does happen, however, the corpus luteum will continue to secrete progesterone, preventing menstruation. Thereafter, lots of different changes begin to happen as the embryo starts to develop. Let's recap. Follicle-stimulating hormone will stimulate the development of the follicle. The follicle will secrete estrogen, which promotes the regeneration of the stratum functionalis. Halfway through the cycle, luteinizing hormone will trigger ovulation, the release of the egg from the follicle. The follicle will then become the corpus luteum and the corpus luteum will secrete progesterone, which helps to maintain the stratum functionalis. A drop in estrogen and progesterone levels will trigger menstruation. Take some time and be sure to look over this chart that'll help you visualize the effects of the hormones on the ovaries and uterus in respect to time.